It is a common belief that abandoned houses, buildings, and other places are haunted by ghosts. However, have you ever considered the possibility of paranormal activities in cemeteries? In movies, we often witness eerie occurrences taking place in graveyards. From my perspective, cemeteries are the final resting place for the souls of our loved ones, including our grandparents, friends, and neighbors. But how do we explain the presence of malevolent spirits in these sacred grounds? The answer to that remains unknown. In this episode, a mortuary assistant shares their encounters, providing insight into this fascinating topic. A mortuary assistant is a professional who works in a funeral home or mortuary. They are responsible for a variety of tasks, including preparing the deceased for burial, transporting the body to the mortuary, and assisting with funeral arrangements. They may also be responsible for cleaning and maintaining the mortuary, as well as assisting with paperwork and other administrative tasks. This mortuary assistant that has been working in the mortuary house for more than 30 years has shared with us many stories, but this story is quite horror for us. A forensic autopsy is an examination conducted post-mortem to address medico-legal objectives. A forensic autopsy is also called a medico-legal autopsy. The performance of a forensic autopsy follows instructions from the concerned legal authority responsible for the medico-legal investigation of sudden, unexpected, suspicious, mysterious, unwitnessed, obscure, unexplained, or litigious deaths, criminal deaths, industrial deaths, and deaths associated with medical or surgical treatment, where medical negligence is alleged, or aesthetic deaths. In brief, all deaths of unnatural, homicide, suicide, accident, manner, suspicious deaths, and unexpected deaths, necessitate a legal investigation, which includes an autopsy as a portion of the evidence-gathering process. The cause of death can be either natural or unnatural. For example, if a head injury is the cause of death broadly, then how the head injury occurred can be accidental, suicidal, or homicidal. Death from a head injury can result from an accidental fall from a height or a suicidal jump from the top of a tall structure or a deliberate push from the roof terrace, in which this last case the manner of death is considered homicidal. After the autopsy then only, the body will be returned to the family members for their final ritual. A tragic incident unfolded when a young woman, recently married, was involved in a devastating road accident. The first responders at the scene valiantly attempted to save her life, despite the severe damage to her internal organs. Sadly, her life slipped away before she could reach the hospital. The subsequent autopsy report revealed the harrowing truth. Her cause of death was a broken neck, caused by the force of a truck colliding with her. Not only were her lungs and internal organs severely injured, leading to internal bleeding, but several of her bones were also fractured. Adding to the horror, the autopsy unveiled that two of her hand fingers and some of her legs fingers had been severed from her body. In a desperate attempt to locate these missing digits, forensic teams were dispatched, but their search proved fruitless even after two days. The report was eventually sent out to the autopsy team. Astonishingly, the mortuary worker shared a chilling encounter. He witnessed the girl's lifeless body from a window, observing her without blinking. This eerie phenomenon was not unfamiliar to him, as he had spent 30 years working in the mortuary and had encountered numerous inexplicable experiences, including communicating with departed souls and hearing the cries of newborns who had passed away prematurely. Even after completing the autopsy on the accident victim, he continued to witness the shadow of the young woman fixated on her lifeless form. In a courageous act, he shouted to the apparition, urging it to depart and assuring it that her body would be properly cared for and returned to her family for a dignified funeral. Miraculously, as his words echoed through the air, the shadow began to dissipate, fading away into nothingness. The mortuary assistant had encountered numerous abnormal activities during his time at the mortuary, but nothing compared to the jump scare he experienced when he first saw a shadow. To calm his nerves, he would often listen to music or take walks outside the mortuary. His ability to see and communicate with the souls of the deceased without panicking 
was a gift that allowed him to provide comfort and assistance to these lost souls. The autopsy doctors, especially the trainees, found solace in witnessing the worker conversing with the dead, as it made them feel more at ease while performing their duties. One particular soul, a lady who had met an untimely demise, sought help from the mortuary worker because he could see and communicate with her without fear. She followed him all the way to his house, making her intentions clear. Intrigued, the worker engaged in conversation with her, questioning why she was disturbing him. The lady soul revealed that she was a newlywed, tragically passing away before she could even begin her married life due to an accident. During the accident, she was wearing a special wedding ring that held great sentimental value to her family. Passed down through generations, the ring was considered lucky and was given to her by her great-grandmother. Desperate to reunite the ring with her family, she implored the mortuary worker to find it, promising to cease disturbing his life once it was returned. The mortuary assistant, however, informed her that the ring was not found during the autopsy and some of her fingers were missing. He was perplexed, unsure of how to locate a lost ring under such circumstances. Two days later, as he made his way home, he stumbled upon a peculiar sight near his house, a disoriented Middle Ages man lying beneath a tree. The man appeared bewildered, unable to comprehend how he had ended up there, as he distinctly remembered being in his own bed moments before. Acting swiftly, the mortuary assistant offered the man some water to refresh himself and promptly contacted his son to come and assist him. Three days passed, and to the astonishment of the mortuary assistant, the middle-aged man returned to the mortuary house in search of him. He explained that he had been in good health until recently, when he began feeling unwell and sensed an eerie presence watching him. Furthermore, he revealed that he had taken a ring from an accident scene five days prior, suspecting it may be the cause of his distress. Seeking guidance, he turned to the mortuary assistant, who soon discovered that the ring belonged to the deceased woman involved in the accident. Realizing the significance of the ring, they promptly handed it over to the police, who in turn returned it to the woman's family. Miraculously, the restless spirit of the deceased woman ceased to trouble the mortuary assistant any longer. This tale serves as a testament to the power of resolving unfinished business and finding closure, ultimately bringing peace to both the living and the departed. Thank you for watching. That's all for today's video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any suggestions and experience related to the content, feel free to leave them in the comments below and join us on this journey.